Hello and welcome to my channel. So my name is Brianne and I'm with Diary of a Homemaker um, where we're about thrifting, homemaking, and sustainable living. So today I have a little bit of a thrift haul for you. Um, I honestly shop secondhand all the time. I go about once a week and it varies just depending on what I'm looking for. I actually have a running note in my phone. So if I'm looking for, like right now I'm looking for doors of a specific size so i'll have those listed in my notes and then when i go antiquing or thrifting i can just measure those and see if they're a good fit so let's just get started i think i'm going to get started with the dishes so i i love a good creamy dish i thrifted a set of five of these so if you can see let's see there we go it looks like um, there's no markings or anything, but it looks like something that you would get like at a cafe, like a small town cafe. Um, it's got some love on it, but I love that. So five of those. I also got a set of four of these Homer Laughlin L81 dishes. So I'm honestly not super knowledgeable about dishware, but it's something I'm I'm learning to know more about. I have um, a set of, or not a set, but several of the Falsgraf Heritage Collection, the Ironstone, which I love, and those are our, now our main dishes, but I do love, I do have a white dish collection, so I'm always picking up other dishes that would complement those. So for those, I paid the prices, insane. So I got these, and then I'll show you what else I got from this one store, and I paid $5 for all of it. So. Four of these plates. I also got her. So she looks like a giant soap dish. And I looked her up and I think it is, um, again, restaurant wear, but I love it. We are getting ready to move into our new home. So you probably won't see many videos of me in this house because we're getting ready to move, but that's gonna be a whole a whole set of projects and I'm thinking this is going to go either by the kitchen sink and put some sponges in it or in the main bathtub um, in our master bath and put some things in there. This is also from that one store. Okay so I also got this beautiful set. So my, my one of my best friends Sarah and I we go thrifting about once every two to three months just to have some girl time. We've been friends since we were in first grade um, and we're now in our 30s. So we go about, like I said, once every two to three months and we call this the good good. So I know I don't know if you're familiar, but like the old, the new, um, like, I don't know if it's microfiber, but I hate it. Like I cannot use it. I do not sleep well on it. I really love a good cotton, like, the good good like good cotton sheets so i got this whole set and i don't know i tried looking i'll show you up the tag i'll show you the tag um but it had the fitted sheet the flat sheet and then two pillowcases so it's this really pretty pinstripe pattern and this is what the tag looks like i tried looking it up but i'm not seeing it says cottage collection. I'm just not seeing much information about it, which it doesn't matter. I love it anyways. We're going to use this. So two pillowcases, a flat sheet, and then the fitted sheet. Again, from that one store. I love them. And then I also got these. Again, this is a sheet. This isn't the, the good good, like I said, but I do super love the pattern. Um, it's a mainstays brand, but I just love the pattern and I'm going to use this in our new upstairs bathroom as a shower curtain. It's actually a flat sheet. I'm going to actually try to sew pleating tape onto the back of this on this side and then, um, hint, hint, I have something else to show you that I thrifted. So I am going to try to do that and we will be doing that together. So I got this. And these things have already been washed. As soon as I bring 
fabrics home or anything fabric, it automatically goes straight into the washing machine. I don't let that kind of stuff just sit around in my house. I really want to get it washed as soon as possible. So, and then last but not least from that same store, and this is crazy, I got this handmade vintage quilt and it's beautiful. It's probably three feet, three by four feet or four, three by five feet which isn't very big, and then I'll show you the back. It's honestly not very big, but I recently thrifted um, this chair to go in our entryway in the new house, and it's a beautiful chair. I'll show you, I'm sure. Um, but I wanna put this like hanging over the back for Christmas. I think that would be so beautiful. So I paid $5 for all of that, if you can even believe that. So that's everything from that store. Um, and then moving on to the next door, I got this all cotton, it's from JCPenney, this all cotton, um, short curtain rod or curtain, I mean, um, and this is going to be going into the laundry room. All of these things still need to be ironed, but <clears throat> my iron is already packed and um, we'll do all of that later on. So we'll get that ironed and hung up and everything like that. So that's that. I also got these shorts. So these are all cotton. We're trying to slowly eliminate all of the, you know, the fake material, the not real material clothing. So it's a slow process, but Slowly but surely, we're doing it. So these are all cotton, I love them. I'm not familiar with the brand. Um, copper, copper denim. So these are the back. And these are gonna be for our oldest. I also got these gray shorts, which are really nice. And again, for our oldest. So I paid $2 each for those. Not, not a bad price at all. I have no problem paying $2 for a, a good pair of, of clothes or a good pair of shorts. Next, I got these and all of this stuff I have not washed yet, but I got these brass, um, see if I'll focus. these like vintage looking brass shower hooks. So I am gonna use these on this, this curtain that I, that I sew. I think they're perfect. So I got a whole lot of those. I'm not sure how many is in here, I haven't counted, but there's quite a few. That's that. And then, so I've been looking, I actually looked on Amazon for the pleating hooks for the curtains and I don't know, it was like 12 or $13 for 60 of them, which isn't a bad price, but I'm of course gonna try to thrift it first. So the thrift store that I go to all the time, I go there about once a week. I just pop in, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and I usually always find something. And I got not one bag two or two bags, but I got three bags of the pleating hooks, and I'm sure this is overkill. Like I'm sure it's way too many, but I would rather have too many than not enough. And I do need to go ahead and sort through them. So you can either get double pleating hooks or you can get um, like single pleating hooks. This is what this, the single ones look like. So it's just two prongs. And then the double, let's see if I can find one. The double pleating hooks, they're a little tangled, are gonna look like this. So it has four prongs, and then there would, go, there would be a hook that goes right here, and then that's how you hang it. But they make the curtains just look so much more high end. So like I said, we're gonna be doing this together. I've never done this before, but I think that would be a really fun project for the new house. So I got three bags. These were a dollar per bag. So I paid $3 total for all three of these bags. And then for this, I paid 
Again, a dollar, not bad. Next, I got this masher. So I have a collection of rolling pins. It's already packed for the new house, um, but I have a crock that I th thrifted, of course, and it's got all, all different, um, or all of my different rolling pins in them. So this is not technically a rolling pin, but it is a masher and it would go very well in that. So I paid a dollar for this. So I did actually go ahead and thrift a rolling pin. I don't always pick these up, mostly because they are sometimes very expensive. I've seen them in antique, st and, ugh, antique stores go for, I don't know, anywhere from like 15 to $40. And who can pay that? So a dollar, I love it. And then the last thing I got was this wooden hanger. So I, slowly have been collecting these. I have not a huge collection, but I definitely have a few. And I always pick these up every time I see them. So, so I really would like to switch over to all wooden hangers if I can, but I don't want to buy those new because again, they are quite expensive. So I, every time I see these at a thrift store for this one was 59 cents. So every time I see these at a thrift store, I do go ahead and pick them up. That way, eventually, hopefully, we can get rid of all of the plastic. So, so that's all for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the thrift haul. Um, I will be doing these probably quite often because we are getting ready to move into our new house and that is going to be such an exciting, overwhelming process, but um, I'm excited to share it with you guys. So if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and I will see you on the next video.